Hello everyone, and welcome to my guide on how to get the dig site pendant unlocked. In order to do this, you will need a trowel, rock pick, specimen brush, leather boots, and leather gloves, all of which can be obtained at the museum, so you don't have to worry about it if you don't have any of those. Also, you're going to need to have completed the dig site quest. Once done, go to Vrock, and just north of the bank, there's the museum. Enter these two doors right here. Once you enter these doors, or you can go through the museum and enter this little gate, though there's dialogue when you do, I recommend going through these doors. Go over to the tool rack and you can take everything that you will need. And once you've taken every single thing on that list, come over here and just dig uh, right here in the dirt and you'll get a unclean find. So basically all you have to do is use this unclean find on a table and then your character will go through an animation and you will find a random item. As you can see I got pottery. Now so for instance some of these items will be able to give you kudos which are very helpful in certain parts of, uh, for the game. You can get to um, Fossil Island once you have a hundred and there's other kinds of benefits you can get for having higher kudos it's good just to max out your kudos you can get XP lamps and whatnot so this for instance is a good thing to get so all you have to do is come over here talk to the guy and you just press hey I found something interesting I've already done this and put it into the display case but as you can see it's over there in the display case uh, and then you just he'll tell you which display case you go and you put it in now once you've already found it And you get it again You can now use it into the storage and you'll get a random item from it. I got a pot But you can get like ores and other items So just again clean and you just keep doing this until you find the necklace you want to do this until you find a clean necklace. Once you find the clean necklace, you can give it to the uh, what, any of the archaeologists, and they will teach you the spell for the ability to enchant ruby necklaces into dig site pendants. It has a 1 in 51 drop rate to be able to be received, and once you have it, then you can start making uh, as many as you want for dig site pendants. So uh, just ruby necklace enchanted. Um, so it's pretty easy uh, once you have unlocked it. But like I said, 1 in 51 drop rate basically. And um, that seems pretty low, but it's very boring to do. But once you have it, you can then use them as many times as you want. So, you know, just again, if you find stuff you already have, just keep using it there. But if you find something new that you have not seen before, always talk to the experts about it and they will let you know if it is a good find or not because you want to make sure you get your museum kudos. So I'm going to start recording when I find that. All right, so there you go. I have found it. So you find a necklace remarkably in good condition. So there you go. That's the clean necklace. And so once you get that, it's 1 in 51 drop rate, like I said. Just talk to any of the experts and then tell them that you found something interesting. And then they, you tell them you found a necklace. Now, this will disappear from your inventory, but it will unlock the spell for you. And the archaeologist takes the necklace and uh, turns it over into his hands and studies it closely. So there you go. It now tells you that you have learned the techniques. And with level 49 magic, you can now enchant ruby necklaces to become dig site pendants. So just like that, that's how you do it. It's very easy, straightforward, simple. Uh, it just takes a little bit of time because... Uh, it's RNG based, and um, you know RNG is not always a great. Uh, <laughs> it, it can be it can be annoying, definitely. But uh, you do get some items out of this, so you do make a little bit of money, I guess. Uh, as you can see, I'm just 
making a little bit of GP and I'm getting a little bit of items. Uh, nothing amazing, but uh, you know, whatever. Uh, but basically, you'll you'll get it eventually. You also want to get your, like I said, a hundred kudos you need for um, to unlock the quest to get Shufal Slalom anyway. So you have to do this regardless. So you may as well just grind out a little bit extra longer if you do not get the clean necklace by that time. So, anyways, that. All right, guys. So that's it for the guide. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please give this video a like. And if you're not subscribed already, please subscribe for more guides like this and more money making guides for mains, hardcore Iron Man guides. I plan to make more of, and I'm also making Slayer guides it's coming up. So stay tuned for that. So like I said, if you're not subscribed already, please subscribe. And I hope you enjoyed. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.